Are you ever working in Fusion and you go to do a standard window selection on an object and... What is that? What happened to my window selection? Well, it's actually pretty easy to do this on accident. And what we're going to talk about in our tech tip today is the selection panel in Fusion. So you'll notice in the selection panel, what we've done is accidentally activated freeform selection. Now these shortcuts, 1, 2, and 3 on your keyboard, they're actually pretty close to the escape key. So what I end up doing all the time is I'm going for that escape and I accidentally activate another selection priority. What are the differences between these? We're going to take a look. So let me just activate in my browser one of my subcomponents and I'm going to isolate that. So let's start with the standard window selection. Of course you have your standard selection window and your crossing window. Um, the selection window with the solid edges only selects objects completely inside of it. The crossing window will select any object it touches. So that's pretty standard. Now we have the freeform which is more like a lasso and it does the same thing. So if you're going um, just like the window from the left to the right, you will do a selection. If you're going from the right to the left, you'll do a crossing selection. So this makes it pretty easy to do things like, for example, select more specific faces. With the window selection here, I get actually some faces I didn't want, but with the lasso selection, I'm able to kind of trace around the shape to make sure only those end faces are completely inside my selection. Then we have the paint selection. Um, this works kind of like the trim tool inside of the 2D sketch. Uh, if you click and drag, it will just select all faces that it touches. So again, one, two, and three on your keyboard will toggle between those three modes. If you ever notice, you've accidentally moved into another mode. The one key is the quickest and easiest way to get your window back. Uh, but I find that having those shortcuts available, I end up using the other, other two modes a lot more than I otherwise would. And in some situations, they're very useful to make your selection way easier. You'll also notice in this area, the selection tools, the selection priority, and the selection filters. Uh, these are absolutely essential to me when I'm modeling in Fusion. But we'll take a look at those in another tech tip in the future. So thanks. Hope this was useful.